Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we will understand the basic concept of multiplying decimal numbers. We have taken a very simple example to start with, which is 0 0.5 times 0 0.6. Now, let us understand how to multiply these decimal numbers. So, we want to multiply 0 0.5 by 0 0.6. Uh, we will see it in different ways. What is 0 0.5? Let's first understand that. So we'll begin from a place value chart. Right? So I hope you remember in place value chart, what we have is in, if you put a decimal here, then the numbers on the left of decimal are ones, right? To the right, we have tenths and hundreds. So, if I have to write 0 0.5, how will I write? Zero point five, zero ones, right? Zero ones, decimal, and in tenth position we get five. So that is 0 0.5. How about 0 0.6? It is 0 0.6. If we have to write it in expanded form, how do we write? It is 5 tenths, right? 5 tenths. So we could say this 5, let me write here now. We are again trying to write 0 0.5 times 0 0.6 in a different way. Understanding from here, 0 0.5 is 5 tenths, means 5 out of 10. You see, this means 5 tenths. 5 out of 10 is 5 tenths. And that one is 6 tenths, right? So we could write this as 6 out of 10. Do you get it? So 0 0.6 is 6 tenths, 0 0.5 is 5 tenths. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.6 is equal to 5 out of 10 times 6 out of 10. Now you know how to multiply fractions, multiply numerators, we get 6 times 5 as 30 and then denominators 10 times 10 as 100. So if you divide 30 by 100, you get 0 0.30. So that is how you can actually multiply decimal numbers. Now here is another way of multiplying decimal numbers. Let us say we need to multiply 0 0.4 times 0. 7. The ultimate way of multiplying decimals is that we'll just multiply the numbers as such. That is 4 times 7. Think as if decimal is not there. What is 4 times 7? 4 times 7 is 28, right? Then we know we are not multiplying 4 and 7. We want to multiply 0 0.4 with 0 0.7. 4 tenths with 7 tenths. Now, how many numbers are after decimal? There are two numbers after decimal. So we are going to place decimal after two numbers. So decimal is placed here. So what we really get is 0.28. We should write zero before it in the ones position. It is a good practice, correct? So that is also a direct way of multiplying decimal numbers. So just multiply the numbers as we did here. 0.5 times 0 0.6, we multiplied the numbers, right? 5 times 6, 30. And then we know because there are tens, 10 times 10 is 100, we have placed 30 over 100 as 0 0.30, as good as putting decimal in two places. So from here, you can correlate the concept. So the concept here is, take up the numbers. Now let us say we have a number 12 times, let's say 4, right? So when you multiply 12 by 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 1 is 4, you get 48. 12 times 4 is 48, but what will be 1.2 times 0 0.4, 0 0.4. Now we have two numbers after decimal, so we'll place decimal so that we have two numbers after decimal in our answer also. So we get 0 0.48, which is good to write as 0 
So I hope you understand the concept here, right? Here are practice questions for you. Now you need to multiply these numbers and write down their answer. So I'll give you numbers like uh, 0 0.6 times 0 0.8. How much is that equal to, right? Let's say 2.5 times 0. Point, let's say 6. How much is that equal to? 3.2 times let us say 0 0.9. I'm giving you one digit numbers on this side so that it's simpler. You can pause the video, answer the question. Here is how you will do it. You know decimal, after decimal there should be two numbers. 6 times 8 is 48, so you'll write 48. And put decimals so that you have two numbers after decimal. 0 0.48 is your answer. When you multiply 25 by 6, 6 times 5 is 33, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 plus 3 is 15. Now you have two numbers after decimal, so you need to place decimal there, so that you still have two numbers after decimal. 1.5 is your answer. When you multiply by 0.9, 3.2, that is, you can first do 32 times 9. Let's write down what is 32 times 9. Now it has the answer should be very close to 3.2, right? When you multiply by 0.9, let us see. That is called estimate. 9 times 2 is 18, 8, and then we get 1. 9 times 3 is 27, and 1 is 28, right? So we get 28 here. Since there are two numbers after decimal, we'll write 2.88 as our answer, correct? So 2.88 is very close to 3.2. And that is expected answer for this question. But I hope the technique is just multiply numbers as such and then place decimal is, is a good technique to learn. So in this particular video, what you learn here is how to write the decimal numbers so you understand the concept that the numbers after decimals will be tens or hundreds. When you multiply, you could actually write these numbers in place value form, which is 5 tenths, 5 tenths times 6 tenths, right? So this is like 5 tenths times 6 tenths. 5 out of 10 times 6 out of 10, multiply numerators and denominators, and then write in decimal form to get the answer. One way of doing it. The other way is, Multiply as if the decimal number is not there and then count the numbers after decimal, place the decimal with same numbers after decimal. So likewise, you can multiply decimals very easily. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.